so if you guys like want other styling videos like me straightening them hey guys welcome to my channel um today i'm doing a review on all run hair on amazon and i have my little cap on i'm not doing my ball cap method yet um i'll be doing that off camera i just want to do the unboxing first then come back on camera installing it and everything so if you need uh, like another ball cap video feel free to comment below when i post an updated video but it should be on my page somewhere if i can find the exact video i'll add the link somewhere here and so look this came so quick order right on amazon i'll put all the descriptions below this is actually 16 inch lace front closure so this is the packaging i might have gonna lie i ordered a few more because <laughs> the sale was so wonderful for black friday and everything so i purchased it during then to show you guys now because i was just so excited <laughs> okay so So, inside the box, I got more ball caps. Never need to have too many of those. This is then here's the actual wig. I forget what density it is, but so far no shedding, so that's good smells fresh <laughs> and this is the lace you got clips here and two on the side one in the back and the adjustable strings the lace kind of already blends right to me hold on i think i probably will still bleach that i'm gonna do that off camera as well and then once I bleach the knots, oh yeah, it came pre-plucked, if you can't tell. Hold on. Came pre-plucked. I might pluck it a little bit more because like, I like my thing. <laughs> but I'll show you guys what it looked like before I plug in everything. So I'm just gonna put it on real quick. Oh, let's pull my cat back some though. Hold on. So I will be gluing mine down personally because if I can take it on and off, I will happily snatch this bad boy right off. <laughs> like, I need something that's going to stay. Oh, I might need to pluck it in more. I lied. But I might do a little bit more. This alone, like, the front. And that looks good. I ain't going to lie. And it's, like, really sturdy. Hold on. Put it in there. Yeah, it's like really sturdy. I like the curls. Like, I'm gonna stretch length. Don't okay, cover it with shedding. Just one, two, three follicles. But, this is cute. This is like very cute. And like I said, this is a 16 inch. And then I also bought a 20 inch. So if you guys like want other styling videos, like me straightening this or curling it, like flirting it, doing like big curls, let me know. I would totally do that for y'all. But like I said, this is it right here. And it's only a closure, but like if you wanted to switch the part, you can put it like somewhere over here, right here. And look at that. You want to see the back? <laughs> oh, it's light like that. Okay. So yeah, it's not too bright bright tag on like confuse me it's not too heavy and it's not too thin it's like the perfect consistency for me honestly so yeah like i said i'm plucking a little bit more along the lake like the line because i don't like it too thick and i'll bleach it a little bit more just to get it where i wanted it but if you don't want to do all that, as you can see, you don't really have to. I'm just a little extra. <clears throat> and I just want to see what it looked like if I bleached it 
it says like already plugged everything but i want to see what it looks like when i bleach it more because like i said i bought other wigs from this company let's stick low but i really just want to see like did i have to go that far if the bleach takes and everything so i'm gonna plug it first then bleach it i'm doing my ball cap method as well so if you guys have never did the ball cap method you will need got to be some ghost bomb i love ghost bomb some scissors or a razor and once you lay the bad boy down you're gonna need some mousse and a scarf <laughs> oh yeah i need the tweezers so oh, you're on here the tweezers are the plug so i'll be right back and stay tuned until then like comment subscribe and be back momentarily ah! okay so i'm back so i recently bleached the knots and washed the wig and i did my little ball cap method i did a little rush on this one just ain't gonna lie so now i'm about to show you how i installed the wig so first i already put one layer of glue right here but i'm about to put two more so you just get the glue and then place it along the line put a few dots like that then just make sure it's an even layer across so that your wig has something to stick to yeah i know it's a little off center because i didn't really want like a direct middle part i want to be able to go off just like that and then once that dries i'm going to put another layer on and you know it's dry when it's clear right now it's very white so let that be and while that's drying this is actually how much i plucked i'll show you Hold on. so i plucked a little bit more down center i'll fix it up once i put it on my head and then i made the line across the front a little bit thinner so it looks more natural when i put it on so that's almost there just a reminder on what you actually need to actually fully install the wig ignore my snoop out breaks and stuff those in real quick just like that <laughs> you need a scarf you need your wig your glue i use a rat tail comb i keep this on handy you can use this Breaking your scissors is pretty much your comfort zone. This is way easier for beginners because once you clip, this wraps. And this gets you a little bit closer to the line. And then I keep tweezers just in case I gotta pluck a little bit more. Then some mousse and a spray. So that looks clear. So I'm about to add another layer now. And off camera, I already cleaned my forehead off and everything. So make sure that you clean off with alcohol or soap and water just to get all that oil from your forehead so the install lasts longer. And I kind of like measure how much um, cap I was going to need for my head. By looking at it you can use a ruler a measuring tape whatever makes it easier for you i wasn't trying to make it perfect because i usually change my hair quickly anyway and i personally like to reinstall it every one or two weeks but it does last longer than that so when i'm trying to take it off i use water and alcohol to loosen up the adhesive and then carefully remove it i'm not to shake it off because that'll mess up your hairline and pull out your little baby hairs so let's get this a little dry. Okay. So. While that is still drying, I'm still going to try to put this one back on my head. So. Just tucking on my braids in right now. Start pulling it forward a little bit. See, I did a good job measuring it. <laughs> And then when you're laying it down, make sure you use the scarf. Leave that on there for a few minutes just to make sure it is down. And then once it's 
set for a little bit then you can go back and cut it if you try to cut it while the glue is still kind of wet because when it's clear it's still sticky it ain't fully set yet so once it's like down wait a few minutes and then cut it otherwise it's going to go keep annoying it gotta be glued so that's about good enough for me and then i'm gonna put that right pull it down to where you think right you see Sometimes I do have to cut it, but this one is good. Okay, so that's there. So I'm going to use the back of my comb to make sure that it is done. So as you can see, mine is off center because that's where I wanted it. Sure that that it is glued down. So it's okay to comb the um uh, curls out. You're just making sure that this thing is secure. Like I said, all you gotta do is add some water afterwards. See, here was the original part right here. So I might move it over, we'll see. That looked like scalp. <laughs> Don't worry about how fuzzy the top is. That's just for me combing it for when I was plucking it and everything. But once I wet it and everything, look at that. Is it neat or is it giving you scalp vibes? Okay. So I'm gonna let it sit a little bit longer and then I am going so it might pluck a little bit more, we'll see. Here's my scarf. I got this scarf from Amazon as well. It is. Make sure that thing is tight. And I mean tight and secure. So I'll come back in a few minutes. Once this is secure. And I'll show you how to put it. Be back. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. Look at that. Secure. <laughs> okay, sorry. I got really excited. So, I'm going to use this little razor. And cut it. I don't do it all the way first. Just because I want to see how close that thing get. I think I may snip a little bit first. About here. And that will allow me to cut across the top, like so. And the same thing with this right here. I don't want to close too much at a time. Cut off a little bit more. So now you guys can see why I uh, plucked it more. By plucking it more, it gave us this illusion of actual like hairline. It could be real hair, we'll look. So, that is why I bleached it. And I also colored it. So now, okay, so it looks a little frizzy, like I said, because I've been manipulating it a lot. So, there we go. Oh, combed it across. Look at the scalp. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to give me something baby hair. So, so I'm gonna do either a little thin line like this, just like that. Mm. 
you get the raisin man do, 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 do. And the same thing on the side I use a little bit of mousse, a little bit of freeze spray. Yes, this is only a frontal alkaline, my real baby hair is too. Edge brush. Edge brush. I don't know if I told you about that, but yeah, I'm needing an edge brush too. Okay, now I'm about to just wet the hair so I get that natural curl back. She's going back to the wet a little bit. a little bit of mousse where my part is as well just to make sure that thing looks nice and flat this is where I just go in and manipulate how much it actually laid and then the hair can go in front of it just like that out for me <laughs> so far i'm in love with this wig and of course i'm shedding a little bit more now because i plugged the part and baby hair so so this is the final product it's my part look how natural it seems that look so this is it like after i bleached it and i'll insert it before again just in case you forgot what it looked like so just that little step made a big difference. Like, I'm in love with this wig. And I'll insert the description below. Remember, this is 16 inches, but it's curly, so the stretch length will be 16. And I already bought two more wigs. Like, I knew I was going to be in love. And I also put their Instagram and social media in the description. And other questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I always try to get back to everyone as soon as I can. And if you're reaching out for me to do a hair review for your company, Feel free to DM me, message me, whatever you have. I'll be sure to get back to you.